What's going on, YouTube? It's James with Shimer Fantasy Battle Report, and I got another battle report for you today. It's a Depthcon round two. And, uh, you know, to be honest, yesterday I'm going to apologize for my video, uh, or, or today, whatever day that you watched the video at. Um, just because I was kind of really nauseous. I don't know. I had like a 24 hour bug. I literally fell asleep for like 12 to 18 hours. I am not kidding. I think it was closer to 18 hours. So, <clears throat> there's a lot of stuff I left out of that battle report. I was just kind of getting it out there because I wanted to get it out of the way and keep on moving, even though it was a game against Tremendous. But. Um, now that I'm feeling better, I'm going to go ahead and uh, give a shout out to Tremendous. He was a wonderful opponent, as well to his uh, to his partner, uh, Mr. Gunter, and Gunter was an awesome opponent. We actually uh, had lunch after that game. Uh, we went to uh, Noodles and Company, <laughs> but um, anyways. So it was fun to catch up with those guys. It was also really fun. Adepticon itself was just a really, really, really fun event. It was probably one of the most fun events that I've been to probably since ETC um, that, that just, like, took the cake. You know what I mean? Um, just because there was so much to do. There were so many people there to see. There were so many people there from other gaming systems that are my friends as well as gaming systems that are that are Ninth Age as well that are my friends. So it was just a lot of fun just to see everybody and have such a good time. And again, like I said, this is one of those events that just reminded me of why I play this game. Anyways, round two, I'm playing against uh, two of the Detroit guys. Now, my partner, Andrew, Andrew's actually a uh, Detroit guy himself, so he's going against his own club mates in this, in this game here, which is uh, Sabotage. But um, we had a good score off of, uh, of a Tremendous and, uh, and Gunter. We had, a, I believe it was a... 18-2 to be honest. I think I said 16-4 in the last video, but it was an 18-2. So we had a really good start. We're going to go into this game. Same thing. Same exact thing we're going for is we have a gun line army. Let's see how it does, right? Now, we're going against Max Lepora. Now, if you guys don't know who Max Lepora is, you're about to learn about Max Lepora. First off, Max is a person I have never ever played before on a real game until this day. And to be honest, this doesn't even count because it's a team tournament. But it is, it is going to count for the fact that I got his his army on the on camera but the the next thing you need to learn about max is max is actually a top 10 guy he he was a uh, top 10 in the u.s last year i think he was like number four five six i don't know somewhere around there f throughout the year on every tournament and you got to understand that 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 says a lot if he's a top like top five guy to be honest in every tournament i've ever gone to that says so much about him uh his partner is alex meyer which actually i get a game against with alex uh during the tournament now i keep on uh making a joke saying uh to all to all the, the the detroit guys that uh currently i hold an undefeated record against all of them except for nick rodrigo nick rodrigo did get one game against me that i think he won very little bit but besides that every detroit warhammer guy has fallen wrath to the shy hammer <laughs> so uh we're getting this game in now um <clears throat> Uh, Max is a Infernal Dwarf player and Alex is a Beastman player. Let's go over our list really quick and see how they do. Um, I did play a game against Max maybe like a week before this on Universal Battle, but that really doesn't count. It really doesn't. But I did get a big win against him on Universal Battle. So this game is going to go ahead and show us some team battles. And again, even though that this game goes on, I still don't count it because it's team battles. But um, right, here, right here, I got my two skewers, skewer reverse. Um, over here, I got my 20 common goblins with bows and a shady git. You can see the shady git. He has a trench coat in the front. Um, <laughs> but uh, they have shields, bows, and light armor, as well as the shady git in full command. Um, I have the, the, the space rock. This is the sh the chicken rock came back from space to play these games and then i got general zod now kneel before zod zod is unstoppable right now zod has just racked up like more points than most people have had all game uh it, it, oh, i'm sorry out of three games he would racked up more than one game so zod is just on a killing spree and uh yeah let's see how zod does in this game like i said there's a space rock and then in the background you can barely make it out i have a unit of uh 30 ish 36 uh orcs with bows and spears and shields uh we have the big flame phoenix bernie sanders uh we have uh zip the fake son of zod and then we have a unit of skirmishing white lions uh we have over here the error girls uh which are <laughs> a bunch of archers uh elf archers and then we have a level two of uh cosmology a uh, level three of pyro and a uh, as I like to call the chump thrower 
I don't know what it is. It's a bolt thrower. Repeater bolt thrower. There it goes. Uh, for magic this game, I got Enveloping Embers, Pyroclastic Flow, and Cascading Fire, as well as my uh, teammate Andrew got Altered Sight and Perception of Strength. As you can see, um, I go ahead and I deploy. We deploy like this. Now we have the same exact table. They just took out the river uh, as last game, so we were able to just kind of deploy similar to what we just did. Um, Andrew decided to put the white lines as a screen in front of the the orcs with bows. Um, the one thing that I'm looking back at, at as I look at this um, was, I think the orcs would have been fine just on their own. Um, we kind of put the white lines on that side because we wanted them to go for his uh the what are those the 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 bull centaur guys but um yeah oh, well i'll still go over his list they haven't gone over his list yet but we deploy like this we put zod in the center zod has a good uh leadership bubble we put zip hiding on i think on the right side i want to say he's on the right side by the space rock um uh, but we didn't really screen the goblins or the bolt throwers on the on the hill. We left the bird back there. Uh, kind of what we were thinking was, Space Rock could take out one unit of uh, annoyed uh, the incarnates. Uh, Bernie could take out another unit of incarnates. If not, take them out. At least hold them up, more or less, because they're just going to both be um, uh, fireborn and nobody's going to get hurt. And that'll just hold up the the his his ability to get to us. So we would chaff him with his uh, own Fireborn. And then um, we were going to have to take out that Gore-Tax and the Chariots on the other side. As well as uh, the left side, I think the, the Orcs could have handled it pretty well. But let's go over this over here real quick. Uh, our opponent, he has a, on the left, he has a, one of those Beast Chieftains, the Centaur Chieftains with the Impaler. Uh, he has like a shield and heavy armor. Um, the guys on the left are Hobgoblin Wolf Riders. He has uh, five of them. He has a unit of the... Oh, what the hell their names? Whatever they are. They're bull centaurs. The bull centaurs, he has uh, three of them. They're tough five. These guys are ridiculously good. Um, over here, he has two units of the, you can see the dwarves. They're infernal dwarves, like the core warriors. Uh, but they have blunderbusses, and they have, one of them has a level three or four of pyro, or whatever his spells he has. Um, I think it's a, it might be just like a level one or two of pyro, but whatever. Um, he has this uh, beast general in the background inside the trees in the chariots. Then he has a unit of centaurs with throwing weapons. He has another unit of, uh, or I'm sorry, he has a razor gore chariot right there. He has uh, the, the gore attack in the middle. And then he has two units of incarnates off to the side like so. Um, so uh, vanguards, he's going to go ahead and vanguard up. He moves his wolf riders this way. He moves his centaur this way so we can't shoot him at turn one. And then he ends up making us take turn one. So since we take turn one, we're not going to have, um, we're not going to have, uh, are shooting very effective on turn one which sucks because we really would have preferred going to second so we didn't have that shooting penalty but since we did we basically moved Zod up a little bit we moved the white lines off to the right a little bit in the trees to, so they don't get shot as easy that orange spot in the middle is the center because it is hold the center and uh, basically that's how we really just kind of move we really don't move too too much and it's gonna go ahead and start off magic phase magic phase we get three power dice which does absolutely nothing we're gonna go ahead to do Altered Sight to help these guys boost their ballistic skill, and that's it. That is it. Um, and our shooting phase just falls flat. It was kind of a waste of a spell. Whatever. Uh, um, turn one. Uh, beast Herds, or uh, not Beast Herds, Max Herds. Max Myers. <laughs> Alex Lapora. Anyways, um, Team Lapora. Team Lapora, turn one. He's going to go ahead and uh, he starts to move up his chieftain on this side. He ends up moving his. Um, uh, he doesn't, I mean, I think everybody just kind of advances up a little bit, but not too, too much. Uh, nobody charges in. Nobody really does anything. Magic, he just kind of fell flat. I don't think anything really happened in Magic or anything was in range. So he's going to go into shooting. Shooting, he shoots his Impaler at our Bolt Thrower, at our Skewer, and he does one wound, and that is it. That is all that happens. It's going to start off turn two, Orcs and Goblins. Turn two, Orcs and Goblins. Now, for some reason, there's a lack of pitchers, and I'm going to be honest with you guys. This game... I don't think it was a slow played game because if it was slowed, I would get uh, more pitchers. I just think that a lot of things happened, and uh, that's probably why there was a lot of pitchers being uh, left out because there was just a lot of concentration. So, anyways, Magic Phase got nine power dice. There wasn't much, much moving. Nobody charged in yet. We're going to go into I, I sneak in a Cascading Fire just to get the attribute off, and I throw it out to Zod just for the hell of it because why not? Zod could always be burning. And um, 
He lets it go through, and I end up using the attribute to hit the Razor Chariot. It does one wound. Then I go ahead and I do a boosted uh, Pyroclastic Flow. He stops it, and then I believe I did my Enveloping Embers, and nothing happened. Um, over your shooting phase, shooting phase, I'm going to shoot. Uh, we shoot the, the Error Girls into the Chieftain. It does a wound. Um, then we go ahead and we do the Chump Thrower into the Razor Gore. It actually does three wounds, so that thing only has like one wound remaining, or two wounds. So it only has one wound remaining. Then the goblins go, and they're going to shoot their little freaking shots into him. And they end up finishing off the last wound, killing him off, causing zero panic checks because nobody gave a fuck about that Razor Gore Chariot. That's all we were hoping for was a panic, but nope, nobody panicked. It's going to start off turn two. Uh, Lapora, Team Lapora. Uh, so he goes in for the charges now. Now, the first move, as you can see, he moved his incarnates back a bit because he was afraid of the spider. So he moves up a little bit, and he decides he's going to charge the Gore Attack towards the the beast lord in the chariot which i was like oh that kind of sucks i was kind of hoping he would charge the spider because if he charges the spider i'll be stubborn on my on the leadership of the elf right there but since he's charging it to the prince ugh, that kind of sucks um i think he was kind of hoping for a terror check because there's no bsps anywhere but anyways he's charging it to uh my spider with the incarnates and then he decides to chaff us up here so he chaffs us up by putting his wolf riders right in front of the white lions he puts a uh, he puts uh, the centaurs in front of Zod, and he did this very purposefully. He figured he called it selective chaffing, which I was like, you're just giving Zod points, man. You're just throwing people in front of Zod, and he's like, I'm doing it on purpose, man. He goes, I got to give you, I got to select who you're going to take out with Zod. Um, so the incarnates get in, his Gortak fails, and uh, that's how it looks. Magic phase got three power dice. He goes ahead and he gives this guy um, magic resistance and hard target and distracting or something like that so basically he doesn't want us shooting him he doesn't want us hitting him with magic whatever uh i think that was the reason why we didn't do it on the first turn either because the first turn um he just had uh i think he was out of range for most spells but besides that he um maybe we tried and i don't remember anyways so close combat over here close combat he ends up uh, uh the spider ends up only doing one or two wounds and uh he ends up only doing like one or two wounds back to the spider the goblins end up killing off like one of the incarnates and he's just like what the fuck just happened and i was like that's the space rock man space rock has some space gear and you don't know what the hell the space rock's going to be doing to you but the space rock won that comet he ends up crumbling a little bit and uh it's going to be uh our turn i think i only took one wound it's going to be our turn uh team shy hammer turn two i want to say turn three holy shit time's flying already turn three zod's going in zod's charging into the centaurs he's like throwing weapons i was like zod don't give a fuck about your strength for throwing weapons go for it um now zip is trying to follow in his father's footsteps zip's like i'm gonna go after the Gortax dad and i was like go for it son knock yourself out but no he goes after him and uh it's not gonna be as good as you think um, now, what we're hoping is, you know, he got double wounds on, on a white lion character, you know, and the white lion guy and the lions. Hopefully, Ziff could put out some damage and kill that Gortak, but uh, we go in like so. Now, one thing that happened is he used the white lions as, um, he, he didn't, this is one thing that I, I think that, uh, I'm saying it to YouTube, kind of saying it to Andrew, more or less, but thinking back about it, he had me, um, his his theory here was to have the orcs shoot the dogs and get them out of the way but he moved his white lions where <clears throat> he was hoping that he would get charged by those those anointed looking back at it i think it would have been better if he would have kept his white lions 10 wide and chaff them both and i just shot 40 shots into the into the big guys but live and learn Anyway, so his, his his strategy here was for me to shoot all the shots of the bow shots into the wolf riders, kill them, and then shoot the bolt throwers into his his uh, bull bull centaurs. Magic phase got four power dice. Goes ahead and do, does altered sight, and he fails. Uh, then we go ahead into I don't know what else happens. I think it just tried to do a fireball or something. It just failed. Uh, shooting phase the error girls over here kill off the centaur chieftain. Good job. And then over here, uh, we're going to shoot. As you can tell, the dogs aren't there anymore. He, We had an argument about this. We were talking about, I was like, dude, I have 34 shots going straight, close range, volley fire into those anointed. I am going to do some wounds. I'm going to. And he's like, don't shoot the the, the 
the bull centaurs, shoot those dogs and get rid of them. And I was like, ah, oh, let me shoot the freaking bull centaurs. Don't waste the shots. And he's like, no, shoot those and get rid of them so they don't kill our war machines. And I was like, fine. So I shot them. They died. The white lines blew up for some reason because they didn't, they're didn't. they not magnetized. And uh, that just left an open gap right there. Um, over here, we're going to shoot the uh, first skewer into the bull centaurs. Kills off one bull centaur. Good job, skewer. And then uh, the other one missed, obviously. Um, over here, close combat. Space Rock is going to town. Space Rock kills off another freaking uh, in incarnate. Does another wound. And that's it. Now, not in this picture right now. Not in this picture because you can't see what happens until I tell you what happens. Zip ran into that Gore-Tec. Did one wound on impact hits. Just one. Goes ahead and swings and does a total of five wounds a total of five wounds that's including the multi wounds the Gore-Tec goes back not a single lethal strike back onto Zip but Zip failed every single armor save and every single ward save one up armor and a five up ward and Zip failed them all and Zip is dead motherfucker <laughs> Motherfucker, seriously. Holy shit, are you kidding me, man? Are you kidding me? Crap. And uh, over here, Zod just cleans out. He's like, what the hell did you guys do to my son? He just cleans out a couple chieftains, and they're going to just pop. I think he just pops them entirely. I don't think any are left. I don't think he's steadfast. I think I just killed them all. And uh, it's going to go to start off uh, Lapor Team Lapora, turn three. Team Lapora, turn three. <sighs> that Gore-Tex is charging in. I was like, God damn it, I had these incarnates under control. What the fuck, Zip? So he charges in. He's going to get impact hits. He's going to get all his attacks as long as he doesn't boost his initiative. Um, I, I, That's all I'm hoping. All I'm hoping is he, he – oh, he has two wounds left. He has two wounds left. All I'm hoping is I get beat him by initiative and kill him before he gets to attack. We'll see how that goes. So – um. He moves his other incarnates over here facing Zod. Zod doesn't give a fuck. And uh, Zod's just kind of facing all the scoring units at the moment. He's just kind of looking at those bull centaurs. Bull centaurs decide to march past the white lines and go towards the war machines. Anyways, Magic Face, he gets five power dice. And there it is! Ugh, he boosts the initiative. I actually saved every dice I had to stop this spell. And he boosted the initiative of the gore Tax, And I can't do shit about it. <sighs> these ambushes popped up because they just did and um yeah i think oh this is shooting phase shooting phase he shoots these ambushers throwing weapons into my skewerer and he was shocked to find out that my skewerer has five wounds not four unlike his pathetic uh inferior infernal dwarf bolt throwers and uh over here close combat his impact hits does two wounds uh, he does all his swings, all his attacks on every monster, everything that's in combat at the same time as my spider, except for the gore goes before my spider. And he racks up a total of six wounds total. My spider goes, and I'm like, you know what? She's feeling froggy today. She's going to kill that gore Bam! Kills the gore And then I'm like, you know what? The goblins are going to attack the freaking incarnates. And bam! They kill some incarnates. And holy shit. Um, I actually, I think... He did a total, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm at one wound remaining. One wound remaining. I believe I had two wounds on me already. So he did five wounds. I did one, two, three, four wounds. Roughly four wounds. I stick, I'm stubborn. And he's like, shit. <laughs> space rock. You don't fuck with the space rock. All right, turn four. Turn four, as you can see. Um, now, here, here's where it starts to get a little sloppy. All right, um, we move the white lines up towards the flank of those, uh, towards those, uh, whatchamacallit guys, the, the warriors, the infernal warriors, right? We decide to turn every single shooting unit to the right side to take out the ambushers that just popped up. We move Bernie in the middle to get to the incarnates like, to chaff them up like we originally planned. Now. We have a couple bolt thrower shots left to try to kill some of those uh, those bulls, but that doesn't look that promising, to be honest. I turn the orcs around to shoot the bulls, close range shots. Now, 
I think Zod's w move was wasted here. I think Zod's move was kind of like we turn around face, face the Incarnates. I mean, not really. I mean, looking back at it, it's not that bad of a move. I think we should have dealt with the the bulls. I think I should have just turned Zod around to face the bulls. Anyways, um, over here, uh, magic phase. I don't have a picture of the magic dice. I go ahead and I do a boosted pyroclastic flow, and he was just like shit, and he tried to stop it, but he failed to, to stop roll. And I end up blowing up like seven of these guys. He passes his panic check, but we're like, you know what? Shooting phase. All these goblins are going to shoot at him, and they kill off four more of him. Then his uh, the error girls over here start shooting at him and just pop him off and kill off every beast on that freaking ambush. That is cr incredible. Uh, we're going to shoot the freaking skewerer into his uh, bull centaurs. Does two wounds. And then uh, that's all that happened. All the other skewers and everything else just kind of like clinked off of his metal. And nothing really happened. And then over here, close combat, the fucking space rock. Ah! She freaking just like hulked out and just like killed off the rest of the freaking um, incarnates. Holy shit. Holy shit. Space rock, you are a beautiful thing. Ah, love you. All right. Turn four, Team Lapora. Turn four, Team Lapora. He's charging into the uh, into the chump thrower here. Um, he's charging his incarnates into the ass end of the goblins, which really, really does suck. Um, and then these guys ambush up. He gets in on the incarnates, which really sucks. I mean, that's just there's nothing we could do about it. That is just something that just happened. Um, and uh, he decides to again chaff up Zod by moving some infernal warriors in front of Zod. Um, and he turns his other guys towards the white lines. Magic phase got seven power dice, and uh, I don't. He gave some boost on a totem to these guys. I don't know what he did. Um, over here, shooting phase. He decides to shoot at our error girls and kills off half of them. And then um, over here, close combat. Ugh, it was just ugly. He obviously is going to destroy a shit ton of my goblins. He kills off like nine of them. I flee. I don't even think he chased. I don't remember what happened to be honest. I don't have a picture of it. No, 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 no. I'm steadfast. I'm steadfast, and I stuck. But he did kill off like nine of my guys. Um, and it's going to start off our turn. Orcs and goblins. Shy hammer turn five. Shy hammer turn five. Zod's charging in again. And this is another uh, discussion that we had, which was should these guys charge in or not? Now, as you can see, we lost two white lions. He he shot him with those blunderbusses. Andrew was like, I can't charge in because he's going to stand and shoot and kill off another one or two. And then by the time I go ahead and I swing, I'm going to lose so many and I was like if you charge in and win he's not steadfast in the forest that we got this whole side to ourselves so we kind of went back and forth in it and then at the end I was like you know what if you're very confident in the fact that they won't win don't charge in he's like okay I'm charging in so I just feel like we had conflicting agendas there that we both had like the same thought but backwards at the same time at the wrong times <laughs> it was horrible so he charges in, or I was like, all right. I'm like, well, fuck it. Go with it. Oh, well. Magic phase, we've got nine power dice. And uh, we go ahead, and then we, he does an alter sight. And he's, as you can see, he rolls a really pathetic roll and gets it off. Um, or fails it. Fails it, excuse me. Then we go ahead, and we do um, perception of strength on these guys, which doesn't really... Uh... Oh, he miscast. He miscast doing perception of strength, and he ends up losing three guys. Um, over here close combat we forgot this combat the bulls just ripped apart the chump thrower and kind of left himself open to get shot at so we decided to um what turn is this is turn five already yeah this is turn five <sighs> all right i gotta show another picture on this anyways um shooting phase we ended up shooting one of the uh bull centaurs with the skewer skewer kills off another centaur and the other one still doesn't panic he's still there now as you can see in this picture that little flaming icon in the middle there that is the center of the table. Now, I turned my orcs around here to shoot at his beast that ambushed up. Now, it's only turn five. I'm thinking about it. I thought about it long and hard. I figured I could grab these guys, turn them around, and moonwalk backwards two inches to get in the objective zone, and I could still shoot his beast herd. I'm like, but it's only turn five. I could just moonwalk backwards on turn six. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. I could just do it on turn six don't have to do it on turn five if I do it on turn five I could get uh if I don't do it on turn five I could get close range on them and it'll do more damage basically right so I don't have to walk out of range that's that was my thought process right um 
So anyway, shooting phase with the orcs with the bows. They shoot at the the beast herd. They end up killing off like five of them, and so do the arrow girls. Um, actually, no, those were the arrow girls. Arrow girls killed off five. The orcs shoot. Orcs killed off a bunch more. Um, over here, Zod just wipes these guys out. These guys didn't even bother hurting Zod that much. Anyways, and then Zod turns around. Now, like I said, um, that center point is that flaming icon. Um, six inches is just basically two inches away from the orcs right now. Zod turns to face these guys. Now, his other two guys ran. I didn't even run down the unit because I figured I have one more turn. One more turn to do what I need to do. So, so basically, if I turn Zod this way, I could deal with any contenders of the objective at all. At all, at all. There's no other contenders for this objective. I got this. I turn Zod this way, I'll charge him. He really can't stay there. If he moves closer or moves in within range, Zod has him, right? Um, I didn't chase the other guys because I figured, what's the point? There's no point in me chasing him down if I need to worry about the objective, okay? These guys here uh, continue, I, I didn't even pull off the bodies because I figured there was just too many, it was too intricate to pull out all the bodies. I know nine are dead. He goes ahead and he swings, he kills off a bunch more. They're gonna run, I think the shaman is the only one left. I'm gonna run, he chases, I run off the, run towards the edge of the table but not off the table, he clips into the war machine. Um, over here, there was another dispute. This is turn five of our opponent's turn. And I'm going to tell you right now, there's a lack of pictures because there's a lot of back and forth going on during this turn five. At turn five, first off, um, he was saying that he could charge this unit. Now, my opponent was saying, no, 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 I angled it so you couldn't see me. Or not my opponent, my teammate. I don't know. I don't know if, if he could see us or not see us. I don't know if he really did do it and I budged it or he budged it or somebody budged it. Point is, the guy ambushed on. I don't think we moved it properly. He could have charged in, but he, we deci he decided no, he couldn't. And uh, so he's going to go in to shoot these guys here. Okay, That's part of one, one part of the arguments going on at the moment. Second part of the arguments here, or actually no, he charges in with the bull centaur. Bull centaur kills off my shaman. And then here's the real argument. After this, I stopped taking pictures, so this is a picture before. At this moment, turn five is just getting started on his turn, which is the bottom of five. And the... Uh, ref screams out 15 minutes don't start another round well our opponent hears that and since he's at the bottom of five and he knows we don't have another turn and he knows my orcs can't do shit about it he grabs those those warriors that are right there in the forest and just walks onto the objective i'm like are you fucking kidding me like that is so unfair like just because the the time was called if like I want you to think of it this way, okay? And I, I don't care if 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 Max or Alex hears this because it really was kind of a shitty move. But think of it this way: if the ref did not scream that out at the or the TO did not scream that out at the time he did, it just say he did it in the magic phase. Those guys would not have marched up. Those guys not would have moved up into the deployment zone. That that simple that simple but when the to screamed it that is the moment you see i'm like oh okay we're just gonna take the objective and that's so shitty i just like i i can't believe it and he was just kind of like yeah that's kind of how the game goes you have to pay attention to the time and it's just kind of like well that's you know that that's not to me that's not part of the game not part of the game to be like oh yeah well guess you're screwed haha <laughs> you know but um but besides that i mean the game starts to fall apart at the turn five at the bottom of five um, I believe he tried to charge Bernie with somebody, and Bernie fled, and uh, I don't even know what, what Bernie was doing. Bernie was a waste of space this game. He just kind of flew around like, ah, bah, bah. Bernie did a lot, actually, in the game before, but this game didn't do much. I think we should have just kind of used Bernie to just go streamline it straight for those incarnates to begin with, the ones that ended up getting my uh, goblins. Um, but... Uh, you know, it, it was is rough. We ended up losing. We ended up losing big. And at this point, I just kind of gave up. I was like, "Yeah, fuck it." I understand that shitty things are going on. Part of the part of uh, the issue was the internal conflict between uh, my teammate with his actual teammates. Uh, so it was kind of just like rough to deal with that situation. Um, but overall, it left a bad taste in my mouth. It was just kind of like a you know, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Anyways. Um, so, uh, we lost, I don't even remember how much we lost by, I think it was like, 
I mean, we, we were taking a good chunk of points beforehand. We, we had a really strong start in the beginning. Us not finishing finishing off a couple of those units. Like, I would have ran down that unit that's running right there. And um, that would have gave us extra points. Maybe cause a fear check on his general. Who knows, right? But none of that ever happened because I we were expecting another round. Um, we never finished off his uh, his other guy, his uh, bull centaur. And then... Um, yeah, I mean, there was he didn't have much left. He had a wizard, he has a unit of of uh, ambushing beasts, and he has like one unit of warriors and his beast lord left. We had a lot more on the table, I believe, but towards the end of five, we just lost a lot. We lost our chump thrower, we lost one of the units of, uh, of uh, error girls. Uh, I think we lost the one that was right next to the ambushers. The ambushers basically threw all their tomahawks and killed. A bunch of them and we just lost the unit and then the wizard ran but um it still would have been up in the air um tur turn six could have been a huge swing for us because we like i said i would just moonwalk backwards kill off this unit and todd would kill off that other unit back there um the incarnates we really didn't have much that could touch them and and the space rock has kind of just been chilling because she's really wounded she really can't do much more in one more turn um i have no idea what's going on with uh with uh bernie but um anyways yeah it, it was just kind of a shit situation um so it's a big win for my opponent uh team lapora and um anyways that's about it mvps let me look over the list on how many points people got because i wrote this down ahead of time so Zod, Zod is still raking in points, man. Zod went up to 14, or I'm sorry, he did 390 points this round. He did 1,400 total for the tournament so far up to this point. Um, unfortunately, the only other pro, oh, <laughs> this is an easy MVP. What am I thinking about? The MVP is the Space Rock. The Space Rock took out a whole unit of Incarnates and a Gore-Tec at the same time. <laughs> Who else does that? Uh, besides that, actually, the skewers were really good in points. They did, they did almost uh, between the two skewers. They did pretty much as almost the same as Zod's son Zip. Uh, Zip only did 358 points. Joe did decent. The common goblins did decent. The fake bow orcs did okay, um, and uh, or the error girls. Error girls actually did better than the orc boys, uh, which was pretty impressive. Um, and then, like I said, Bernie did absolutely nothing this game. So, I'm going to have to give it to the Space Rock. Space Rock is the MVP. Anyway, guys, um, that is all I got for today. Um, if you guys like this, hit the like, hit the subscribe. Um, like I said in the last video, I'll say it again. Um, I am going to Salamanca, Spain for ETC, but I need your guys' help. If you guys could donate anything to my cause, I have a GoFundMe page and a Patreon set up to help me... Uh, collect funds for the trip to etc i had a blast last year and i'm hoping to do it again this year and i'm hoping that i could give you guys more content like i did last year so if you guys um like my channel and feel like i am worthy of a tip please uh donate anything a dollar two dollars five dollars ten dollars whatever anything helps really um besides that um i always feel like i'm forgetting something i don't know I always feel like it anyways that's all i got right now i'll remember by the time i make the next video all right guys one more video is coming up uh, and uh until then i'll see you guys next time take care and peace